Hi guys, it's Adam with The Cichlid Show, and in this video we are going to demonstrate the absorption capabilities and recharge process for Seachem's Purigen. Now I've been using Purigen quite a bit in both my normal tank as well as this new sump. Uh, to give you an idea how it works, the sump is configured in loopback mode, and it is constantly moving the water through the sump, uh, across the bio balls, up through the Purigen, and then back. Um, back through the sump over and over again. So this is my test environment. Uh, so what's going to happen is we are going to pour red food coloring directly into the sump uh, pit. Let's go ahead and drop. This is about 20 drops of pure red, red food coloring. So you can see it stains the water up very nicely. You can see on the left side that's the uh, the filter socks, they're staining up. So let's zoom in on that bottom right down there on the actual uh, pump area. And to the left of the screen there, that's the Purigen. So let's speed up the camera a bit. And you can see, first you'll see the water start to clear up. Speed up a bit further. And then if you look closely, you can actually see the Purigen absorbing the, um, the red food coloring. So I'm going to pause it right here and you can you can see that the Purigen has really turned red. It will it'll get more and more red until every drop of the food coloring is gone out of the water. So I, I, I did a bunch of tests and by the end of the tests my bags looked like this. They were absolutely soaked with uh, food coloring and other other stuff I put in the water that, they, that the Purigen absorbed. So at this point I want to recharge the Purigen. So you can follow the instructions on the Seachem website, but really what it comes down to <clears throat> is you put bleach right into um, right into the the bucket with the Purigen, and the bleach is going to uh, you know clean the Purigen. It it recharges it essentially, um, burns away all of the organic matter that's been absorbed, the nitrogenous matter that's been absorbed by the Purigen. So we then use uh, Prime, Seachem Prime. And the Prime removes the chlorine bleach that we've used to clean the Purigen, so it's the full cycle. It's kind of a neat little racket that Seachem has going there. <laughs> You've got to use their product to recharge their product, but it's good stuff. So let's, oh yeah, I'm sorry. And the last step, of course, is to double check the, the water to make sure that uh, after the Prime has had about 24 hours to work, you have to make sure that it, all the bleach has been removed. And you can use the standard chlorine detector for that. So let's go ahead and add in our bleach. For this, I'm using um, two cups of bleach. No, I'm sorry, one cup of bleach to about uh, three cups of water. So if you look closely, you can actually see it's starting to work almost instantaneously. It, it just eats it up. So now let's let's speed it up uh, substantially. You can see I'm kind of poking it and moving the bags around as it cleans it. It's getting cleaner and cleaner. It's really cool to watch. This is about, this is actually two hours. It's really not long enough, but two hours is how long that whole time-lapse process was and you end up with this so the bags you know, the water's dirty but the, the purigen itself is very clean it's almost back to where it was you know when when it was brand new so let's take it away and let's we basically I ran it under the water hose and cleaned up the the purigen bags quite nicely and you can see that they still have a little bit of there are a couple of pink flecks here and there and that's that's probably because I didn't give them long enough. I was hasty. Two hours. You really want uh, to. I think they recommend about eight hours or so. So that would have completely gotten it. But you know, even two hours uh, just completely changed the appearance of the purigen and, and and reset it almost to new. Pretty neat, really, to see how that works. So this is this is Purigen. This is what it looks like, the container. Seachem. I use 
everything CCAM. All their products just seem to work really well. I mean, it's just, I hate to be a fanboy, but it, their stuff's good. It's expensive, but it's really good. The, I use the bag is, what, is how we hold the Pyrogen. Um, the, the bag is like this weird plastic fused material, and it's incredibly tiny pores that the Pyrogen can't easily get through. I, however, it still does. The Pyrogen still escapes. So I need about two of these. This this one container is not enough. Uh, the sump I need double the number of bags you see here. So at this point, the pyrogen still has chlorine remnant in it. So we're going to use this prime to uh, cook out the rest of that chlorine bleach, and what we'll have left is just the pyrogen itself. And then again, of course, this this part's important. You got to make sure you check the water to make sure you've gotten all the bleach out. That's the last step. That's that's your proof that the pyrogen is, you know, that it's clean and we don't have any chlorine bleach left. You don't want to put chlorine bleach in your aquarium. That's very, very bad. So be sure to check that and maybe even check it twice. Like I would check it once, rinse up the water, and then do another test just to make sure there's absolutely none uh, showing up. <clears throat> all right, guys. So hope this was helpful and uh, we'll catch you guys later.